But it is interesting you bring up ArcStorm though, because uh, this is actually something that we're working on right now uh, in, in California with a bunch of partners. Uh, the, the original ArcStorm project, uh, if you recall, about a decade ago, was a statewide uh, extreme flood contingency scenario for the state of California, motivated by the events of uh, 1861, 1862, the Great Flood, the benchmark flood that occurred in California uh, during that winter season, the likes of which have not been seen in the modern climate era since. So we know it's physically possible to get much larger floods than California's experience in the 20th century because they happened in the 19th century. Um, and with climate change, our own research has already shown that the likelihood of seeing it, an extreme flood event of that magnitude is going up. But the question is by exactly how much and what would that actually look like on the ground? So we're currently working through ArcStorm 2.0, an updated version of that contingency scenario from a decade ago, uh, thinking about the details uh, of, of what it would actually, what this hypothetical type of storm sequence would actually look like, and critically, what climate change is doing to the risk. So what is a present day arc storm scenario look like? And what does a warmer future arc storm scenario looks like? And we'll have some results published, I think later this spring, hopefully, but I think the, the, the informal preview is that you know the it's quite clear that that California is potentially susceptible to much larger flood events uh, than it's actually observed in the 20th century. So for and that the risk is clearly increasing with climate change. So stay stay tuned for the details on that one.